Hello everyone, my name is Saibu Shire, and in this video, we will look at how to add users in your Dayforce environments. For this example, we will be looking at the stage environment of Dayforce, but this process is the same, whether it's one of the non-production environments such as stage, test, or config, or your production Dayforce environment. Since we are looking at the stage environment, we will go to the URL stage.dayforcehcm.com, as you can see on the screen. Then we will fill out the information required in the company field, the username field, and the password field. The company name is unique to your environment, and that is decided at the time of provisioning the Dayforce environment for your company. Your username is usually your email, and then the password for your username. So let's log into the stage Dayforce environment. We are now logged into the stage environment. As you can see from the top center, this is the latest version of the Dayforce environment as of making this video. Whether you want to change someone's password or add a new user, you'll have to navigate to the users page. For that, you go to the hamburger icon on the top left side. Then you scroll down to system admin. And from there, you choose users under the system admin menu. We are now in the user section of the Dayforce environment. Here, if you want to add a new user, click on the new button right here. You put the username in the username field. For this example, we'll assume the username is first.last at company.com. Choose the culture. It's English. This is a mandatory field. You could skip the numeric culture field. In the password field, you could choose whatever password you want that user to have. They will log in to the stage Dayforce environment using this username and password. But this password will only work for them the first time. When they log in, with the password you have chosen right here, Dayforce will prompt them to choose another password for security reasons. And at that point, this user, first.last at company.com, can choose a new password that only they would know. Let's approve them. And now we'll have to add a user role for this user. We click on the plus add user role and we select the user role under the user role column. In the drop down, let's just say we give them the Ceridian administrator role. Since it's the only role they have, this will be their default role. If you assign multiple roles to a user, you could choose which one would be their default role. If you navigate to the location access, you could also choose which locations they'll have access to. And you can do that by clicking on the add location button here. Let's just give them the corporate access. That would mean they would have access to all the locations under the corporate umbrella. And let's say this is their primary location access. We're all set. 
Now, all we have to do is click Save from the top left-hand corner. At the prompt says, the user has been successfully saved. You can now reach out to the user, give them their company name, give them their username, and give them the password that you've just chosen for them, and they'll be able to log into this stage environment in Dayforce. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the process is the same for any of the non-production environments, such as stage or config or test, or the production environment. If you want to reset the password for an existing user, all you have to do is navigate to this users page like we just showed. Then you come to the username section and search for that user. This username was first.last at company.com. We found the user. Now let's try to reset their password. All we have to do is put in a password under the reset password section and click on save and their password will be reset to the new one. At that point, you'll have to reach out to that user and let them know what the new password is. Hope you guys found this video helpful. When you're done, if you want to log out, you navigate to the top right hand corner. You click on your profile. And then you select log out. 